Canada has been blessed with the visits of Khulafa to this vast and wonderful land. Here are the highlights of those historical and blessed tours. In August of 1976, Hazrat Khalifa Masih III, may Allah be pleased with him, came to Canada for the first time. When the news spread through the Jamaat of Hazur's visit, there was unbridled enthusiasm and excitement for Hazur's arrival. For the first time, this great land was blessed with the presence of a Khalifatul Masih. During his historical visit, Hazur was interviewed by the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, the CBC, for the evening news. This signified the first time a Khalifatul Masih was interviewed on television in North America. In Hazur's message, he expressed that it was the responsibility of the Jamaat to represent themselves in a positive light outside of Pakistan that they all played a crucial role in the Jamaat. As the Jamaat continued to grow, the desire for a missionary to be appointed to Canada was expressed and granted by Hazur. <laughs> Hazur graciously gave his time to each and every member of the Jamaat. All the members were deeply moved by Hazur's enthusiasm and heartfelt sentiments to the members during their personal meetings. The members were taken aback by the warmth and interest that Hazur expressed to them during their meetings. Also in 1976, the world-famous CN Tower opened. At this time, it was the tallest freestanding structure in the world. Hazur was invited for an exclusive tour in the CN Tower. Hazur enjoyed a lunch at the famous rotating restaurant, where as an avid photographer, this posed as a picture-perfect opportunity to take photos of the amazing views from the tower. The Jamaat held numerous functions and events in honor of Hazur's inaugural visit. Afterwards, the Jamaat organized a reception and VIP dinner for Hazur. With many dignitaries and MPs in attendance, this was a great opportunity for the Jamaat to present their message of Islam to the general community.
कह रहे हैं सब मला During his visit, Hazur expressed his desire for the Jamaat to expand and purchase land of its own. With this, the Jamaat could then have a place for a future mosque and other facilities. कह रहे हैं सब मलाइक मरहबा सद मरहबा Also during the visit the Ministry of Tourism invited Hazur to Niagara Falls one of the seven wonders of the world This proved to be yet another opportunity for Hazur to indulge in his passion for photography जिंदा खुदा से दिल जो लगाते तो खूब था तो खूब था मुर्दा बुतों से जान छुड़ाते तो खूब था तो खूब था जिंदा खुदा से दिल जो लगाते तो खूब था तो खूब था मुर्दा बुतों से जान छुड़ाते तो खूब था तो खूब था तो खूब था कहानियां ना सुनाते तो खूब था तो खूब था किसे कहानियां ना सुनाते तो खूब था तो खूब था जिंदा निशान After the demise of Hazrat Khalifa Tumasi III, may Allah be pleased with him, the blessings of Khilafat continued to emanate and grow. Islam. Zilafat. Islam. Zilafat. Muhammad Rasulullah. Muhammad Rasulullah. Muhammad Rasulullah. Insaniyat. 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 Canada. 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 Deen ke mat walo suno. Allah akbar ki sada. Once again, the prophecy was fulfilled and divine successes and irrefutable signs. This prophecy of Khilafat was put to the test again with the challenges posed this time by a brave and savage new world. It was a world of material progress but decaying morality. In spite of this, no efforts of man could stop this scheme established by God himself. Hazrat Khalifa Tumasi IV, may Allah be pleased with him, laid the foundation of Baitul Islam Mosque in 1986. When Baitul Islam Mosque was inaugurated by Hazrat Khalifa Tumasi IV, may Allah be pleased with him, he had expressed his heartfelt desire that this mosque should have more worshippers offering prayers five times a day. The devoted members of Jamaat Ahmadiyya Canada were deeply moved by Hazur's state of heart. 
Today all of us can attest that it was the blessings of Khilafat and the desire and prayers of Khalifatul Masih that brought the bustling settlement of Peace Village into existence. It continues to flourish to this day, becoming lush, green and colorful with Beit al-Islam towering in the foreground ever proudly. I do not represent any government. I do not represent even my own country tonight because I'm living in exile from that country. To show such kindness to a wayward sort of leader who, is, who does not find his own home in the country of his origin, but at the same time, he finds home everywhere else, much more so in Canada, because tonight, more than ever, I'm convinced that Canada is my second home. So my prayer is that Canada becomes all the world, and all the world becomes Canada. I hope you will keep up these values and defend these values. They're very precious values. This visit is because particularly of the centennial year of the community which we are celebrating after 100 years of our coming into existence. As far as Calgary is concerned, of course I, I came to, to Toronto. That should have been enough. But I have a very special love for Calgary in so many ways that it is impossible for men to keep count, not only on this very special occasion, in so many visible and invisible ways, but also throughout the year and throughout the years past, not only in Canada, but also in the 120 countries of the world where Ahmadiyyat has got established today. These great moments have been etched into the hearts of all the members of Jamaat Ahmadiyya Canada.